Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I am the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we are going to be discussing the past week in the OTC markets. We're going to be looking at charts, uh, going through a list of uh, stocks that's on our uh, watch list, and discussing our outlook for the upcoming trading week. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion and meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video, hit the red subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. Also go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks we're going to be covering, stocks like MMM EDF at 63 cents, ENZC at 0.014, ALPP at 7.5 cents, and TSNP at just under 3 cents. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all mobile numbers. Uh, for U.S. and Canada, you enter 1 plus area code and number. For U.K., you would enter 44 plus your number. Switzerland, 41 plus your number, etc. And with that out of the way, let's uh, dive right in here. Uh, folks, it was a rough week. Uh, there's, there's no uh, getting around it. Uh, everyone's portfolio, if, if you are any serious player in the OTC markets, if you own any penny stocks you were down on the week uh you know it, 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 except this guy uh you know tim sykes you know he says thank you everyone who joined me on my all day live trading web webinar decent 5k plus 5k day for me trading uh plus 35k for the week during a nasty 35k i mean th this guy's trying to sell uh subscriptions uh you know he puts out that he's not a shorter uh he's not a short seller but you know the only way you made money this week was if you were a short seller so i think he's uh he's full of bs uh you know there's a lot of other players that uh, i highly recommend you would follow instead of tim uh one of them uh, is is yates investing uh you know this is a guy jared he's he's like us, investing with his own capital. He's trying to help people. He's putting out, uh, you know, his his information for free. So, uh, you know, this is a definitely a, a worthwhile uh, Twitter thread. And he talks about psychology, and uh, you know, it's it's very important. So he was a a voice of reason last week. So we we highly recommend uh, you give him a, a follow, and you know, just looking at you know bar chart on the the top penny stocks last week uh, you know this was Friday's close and you know they have it you can go by the day change uh, uh, percent on, on the five day well I always go by volume uh, you want the heavy volume volume is the indicator of what's really happening uh, you know prior to last week uh, you know Jan December January February uh, it's been an incredible time to be an OTC trader. You know, the five-day percentage trade uh, change, these were regularly uh, over a 1,000%. We were getting runners that were just off the charts uh, on, on a regular basis. Um, but, you know, here you can see the way things closed on, on Friday. You know, big runners, INCC up 50%, you know, over five days. This is over five days, guys. Uh, Cuban uh, up only 15%. BBRW up only 28%. Uh, ECOS up only 33%. So, uh, you know, and these are none of the, 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 the big names that a lot of the people are that are trading OTC are in. Uh, we got a nice bounce on Friday. I really 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 like the bounce um, 
you know, my intention on Friday was to not even trade. I didn't, wasn't tweeting or putting anything out. Uh, and then, you know, around lunchtime, I just saw that things had gotten a little bit too far down. And uh, I started, you know, buying on, on, on Friday and got a nice bounce. Uh, so uh, I'm hoping that uh, on Monday it, it, it continues. But, uh, you know, a couple of things to look at, you know, um, we're going to go over a few of the resources that you you should be using when you're um, you know when it comes to trading and research. Uh, you know the first place to start is OTCMarkets.com, and they have here uh, market activity. You go to current market, and uh, it lists the, you know the most active. But you always go over here and you click on trades um, because this is this really tells you that there's real activity, um, guys. The OTC is the wild, wild west of, of investing. It, it really is. Um, you have to be a, a little bit of a natural skeptic. Um, you have to be cautious. There is scams. There is fraud going on. Um, and, you know, so you really need to learn to do due diligence. Um, it is extremely important, and there's there's a couple of cases going on right now that definitely uh, you know you you should be be concerned about. So you know here it's got the the the, the symbol, and then how it's uh, it, it's ranked. QX is the top of the the food chain. It's uh, current in all filings. It's the highest uh, ranking on OTC, and then you have QBs, then you have pinks, and then you got the dreaded the stop signs and then the caveat of emptor, uh, buyer beware. Now, there's nothing wrong with a stop sign. I, I invest in, in stop signs at times. Uh, give you an example, you know, um, we got LTNC has the stop sign. Okay. Guys, this is when, you know, it was in the triple zeros. This was just in, in February, okay? This is when you want to be playing a, st uh, a stop sign. You want to get in early in the trip zeros, double zeros, even at a penny is, is fine, okay? Up here, this is very, very dangerous to be holding here. Uh, on Friday, it did $9 million in, in dollar volume. There was over 7,000 trades. Guys, I'm not going to get into the... There's, there's a lot going on right now um, between uh, George Sharp. Um, you can look at his, uh, his Twitter feed. Um, you know, he's been going on about uh, a lot of things in LTNC. Um, I, I've been doing this a long time. I've been doing this 30 years. I know George. Uh, uh, or I know of him. I don't know him personally. Um, he's well respected. Um, you know, his thing on his Twitter, if I say it's a scam, it is. Um, he's a little bit full of himself. You know, if you get into a, a little beef with him, he'll be like, I'm in front of my $6 million house. BS, he's, he's definitely a, a little full of himself. I'm not going to uh, sugarcoat it. Um, he's the guy that put together the TSNP humble merger. Uh, he's the CEO of Forward Relief, which is just a shell, but they invested in, in TSNP. And TSNP has been a game changer for George. I think he's a rich man now because of, of TSNP. Um, you know, before that, he was a consultant. I don't know how much money he had or, or, or whatever, but uh, he's been around, you know, and, and you know, he's, you know, when I say he's full of himself, you know, you know that doesn't, you know, when he's but he knows what he's talking about you know you know what i mean so uh you know and he's just trying to say that ltnc you know has a high likelihood of getting suspended and you know look you know they're doing deals on twitter they're they're posting you know interviews with with stan the the the, the trading man on on Twitter talking about mergers, um, you know, guys, 
you still got a stop sign. I mean, if you can't get current with OTC markets on what you're doing, you got a major problem. And, you know, the SEC is not going to let this type of dollar volume, you know, it, it, it's traded $9 million dollars on uh, on 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 fr on on Friday I mean this is a this is a lot of money uh, and you know a stop sign specifically says you know dark or defunct so you know there's a, uh, a, a tremendous risk here and I'm not trying to scare anyone I'm just trying to talk truth to you you know uh, so, you know, I'm not going to get into the whole, you know, Stan, the trading man, uh, uh, and, uh, you know, George, uh, beef, but, you know, when I talk, I, I, I talked about LTNC, um, where is it? Oh, right here. Um, you know, I said it was a hot stock, you know, it was running. But, you know, look at what, uh, you know, Stan was, was tweeting, you know, LTNC, 50 cents short term, $1 by summer or shortly thereafter, 5 to 10 long term. I mean, there's 8 billion shares outstanding. They just issued 6 billion, uh, you know, for uh, an acquisition. And you go to the news and, you know, in terms of their, their com they completed the acquisition of Takeover Industries. Um, where is it? Uh, uh, Takeover Industries is an early stage pre-revenue beverage venture. That they, they don't need. They don't have nothing. It's early stage pre-revenue, so it's just a, a product. And and I know people are going on about T12 and Tom Brady's partner. Look. Tom Brady could do a $500 million, $1 billion SPAC tomorrow. He doesn't need freaking labor smart. Uh, do you realize, uh, you know, the extent of, of, of how many uh, of Tom Brady's lawyers are going to get involved when, uh, when they go to try to get him to sign a contract to uh, promote this beverage or, or get involved with, with LTNC? It's, it's not happening. You know, Tom Brady doesn't need uh, these guys. Uh, he can do anything he wants on his own. I mean, he's freaking, the, he's the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. So he can do whatever he wants. Uh, he's got a ton of money. So he doesn't need these guys with a stop sign. So, uh, you know, the minute Tom Brady's lawyer sees a, a stop sign, uh, 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 you know, a penny stock, he's going to go run it. So, you know. Try to try to you know take everything with with a grain of salt, folks. So uh, you know, but again, there's definitely a cult involved in LTNC. I know I'll get a lot of negative comments, vitriol, on and you know for for I'm not bashing. I'm just saying, look, guys, take get the get rid of the stop sign, get current. I'll love the stock then, you know. But you know, right here. You know, with a, uh, a $220 million market cap stop sign, trading $9, $10 million worth of stock every day. I mean, this is just screaming. You know, it's, it's like with a bullhorn to the SEC, please suspend me, suspend me. I mean, come on, guys. I mean, this is, and, and you know, Stan saying dollars are coming. I mean, it, that's reckless. Um, you know... I've been doing this 30 years. I have no idea where a stock is going. I have no idea what, you know, uh, I can't predict the future. I'm happy when I wake up every morning. I'm happy when I cross the street. To me, I accomplished a goal. You know, I, I, I made it successfully. I mean, you don't know if you're going to cross the street and not get hit by a car. I mean, how can you predict that, uh, uh, you know, a stock is going to $1, $10 or whatever? It's just, it, it's been doing this too long, folks. And, you know, stuff like that scares me. You know, um, the best thing you can do uh, when, it, when it comes to, you know, trading pennies is, you know, buying low, uh, you know, selling high, booking profits along the way. You know, please, that's, that's the, the, the best advice I can give you is always take money off the table because, uh, look, we're, we're going to go down through the charts right now of stocks that I have covered, I have liked, 
in and that you know subscribers have, have done well it you know starting off here first AABB I mean this started a run you know back in February you know from five cents to 65 cents okay and then look at this correction it corrected all the way down to 10 cents it's a 70 percent correction I mean this happens regularly on the OTC markets these stocks never go straight up there's always corrections always so don't get into these diamond hands paper hands BS book profits please people and I'm not saying you have don't you don't have to sell your entire position if you bought at five cents, it ran to 65, take some money off the table, you got profits to play with. If you really like it, you will get a dip, which you did, and you can buy more. So you have to learn to earn and use proper money management. Okay, folks? Uh, and AABB, look at here. I mean, it double bottom at 10 cents, got the nice bounce, uh, or it closed at 16 and a half cents on, on, on Friday. We'll, we'll look and see uh, it continues on Monday. Monday's uh, going to be a big day. ABEPF, Vis Vision Lithium. We love the, the lithium plays. This is another one, ran from uh, just under 10, uh, 10 cents, started out at 6 cents, ran to 70 cents. Look at it, corrected all the way down to 20 cents. ABML, huge winner for insider financial subscribers, ran all the way up over almost $5, corrected down to $1.50, closed at $1.86. AITX, ALPP. Um, right now, the ones I'm talking about are all worthwhile dip buys. So, for 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 those of you keeping keeping track, ARBKF blockchain play, great company, nice little retracement, building a wedge here. You see here, getting ready to break out. So, uh, like this one, ASTI stop sign uh, again at, at this level I'm uh, I wouldn't be uh, uh, they got to get rid of that stop sign I've known ASTA ASTI too long it has been a tremendous fucking dog shit stock dilution scam uh, you know it's destroyed a ton of shareholder value but you know all uh, alternative energy plays have, have gotten a, a, a run um, so far this year, so uh, ASTI, ASTI was just a, you know one that that jumped on the bandwagon. ATVK, this has been a a, a, a nice one. Uh, uh, you know, started down here. Uh, you know, in, in the trip zeros, got a nice run up to uh, thirty cents. And again, look at all, look at the huge correction. So uh, you know, this is an eighty percent correction off the highs, and you know we're starting to see a bounce. You know, this is when you know you really want to start putting some money to work on these on these bounces. This is what you what you play for. You know, um, when you get a fifty percent correction, you know you consider yourself lucky if you want to dip by. Um, but when you get 70, 80 percent in these uh, in these, you know. Uh, momentum plays and again we're talking about stocks that have volume you know w the stocks that you know pump and dumps you know where you get a, a spurt of volume then the crash and the volume dries up that means that was a, a straight pump and dump there was no uh, uh, real uh, interest um, BANT uh, another great uh, dip buy uh, BBKCF uh, we uh, talked about this one uh, this week uh, held up really really well so uh, this is a, a, a great play they own the coinbase of Canada so great play there uh, BBRW is getting a nice bounce they signed an acquisition deal I'll be covering that this week um, BMIX, uh, they're getting some shareholder investments, uh, you know, institutions stepping up. Uh, this is a lithium play, so this one's getting a, a little bounce here. BRLL, great lithium play. Again, 
classic run up here and then you know pull back and found uh, found a base here and getting a nice uh, little bounce uh, BS, BSRC, Biosolar, uh, still I don't really like this chart. It, it, it's got some support here at four cents, um, but you know, really didn't, uh, I didn't like the, the bounce on, uh, on, on, on Friday, not much there. Uh, CAPC, great play. Uh, this is a great chart holding up really well here. So, uh, you know, there are bright spots in, in the OTC. Not ever. I mean, yes, not every, you know, there were no uh, new highs last week, uh, um, you know, on the close, but, uh, you know, st there's still stuff holding up, holding up well, not everything corrected. Uh, CBBT, uh, this is another one, uh, it's got the, still has the stop sign, they're getting ready to do a merger with, 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 uh, 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 PKG, but they, they need to get this done. They need to get this stop sign uh, off. Uh, you know, when you have, a, a, you know, a company that has the stop sign and, you know, it goes on for months, that has to give you pause. So uh, it's not good. You know, they should be working overtime to get these uh, stop signs uh, removed. CBDD, like this one, uh, corrected, but getting a nice uh, bounce on, on Friday. CBDL, CBGL, both CBD plays. Um, CLWD, this was a, a, a nice runner this year. Got a same uh, retracement, so uh, this is certainly one you want to have on your radar. Uh, CWSFF, uh, this was just profit taking uh, last week. Really like this one. I covered this one last week. Uh, CYDY is holding up well, just waiting on, on results. My uh, colleague, Chris Sandberg, has, is the expert on CYDY, so I recommend you go and uh, check out his articles. Um, he did, a, he did one uh, last week, so uh, where was it? Uh, right here. He says, Leron Lebab, uh, Lemab trial results, all but certain pointing to approval for uh, cytodyne. So that was on February 24th. Recommend you checking that out. Uh, what else we got here? DMGGF uh, ran to four and a half, pulled back to $1.50. Uh, DRNK. Uh, this is one that they, they're working on uh, uh, doing some deals. Uh, this one still has the stop sign, but this was a, a nice run from down here. Uh, let's make sure. Yeah, still has the stop sign. It's something I always just, let, like I said, uh, you know, when you have the stop sign, it's really hard to hold overnight a big position. I'm just because uh, the last thing you want to wake up to at 9:30, you go to trade, and all of a sudden there's no quote, and you look at the sec.gov website, and you see the the trading suspension. So uh, just don't want to be there, folks. Uh, DSGT, this is a, an EV play, uh, cor corrected uh, off the highs, uh, what 70%. ENZC has been a big correction. Uh, nice bounce, up 46% on Friday. Uh, this one uh, has been getting a lot of attention. Uh, this was an early one uh, that we covered for our, uh, our subscribers. Uh, and folks, you can go to the this little magnifying glass and look at uh, at any of our, uh, our 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 past articles. Uh, we said, uh, you know, back in October, ENZC and Bioclinetics, uh, a perfect merger. So, you know, we really try to, you know, our goal here at Insider Financial is positioning our subscribers in early, you know, before these big moves. Um, you know, we don't chase. We're not day traders. It's all about, you know, getting in early and, uh, and then being patient. Uh, ETFM, big correction last week. Uh, nice little bounce on on Friday uh, FORW this is forwardly this is uh, George Sharp's uh, shell uh, but they've invested in TSNP so they have assets uh, so uh, this is basically a, a play on TSNPD uh, Galaxy uh, has had a few spikes we've caught some of these moves um, but it just seems like uh, the it 
people are losing interest a little bit in, in GAXY. Um, we'll see if they can get the uh, momentum going again. Uh, greater cannabis, a lot of the cannabis penny stocks uh, corrected last week. This is one uh, we like. This one can, can get running when uh, cannabis stocks get hot. Uh, GRST, another correction. HCMC uh, has put in some uh, uh, nice support here at the double zero one. Uh, huge community, really uh, a lot of support on social media. Everyone's banking on this lawsuit. I, uh, I covered it last week. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, hot penny stocks today hcmc this was the last article i wrote for the site so you can check out what i uh what i said here um let's see what else is is interesting um mmmedf uh, held the 250 area um nlst had a nice run made new highs last week we talked about that one um NSAV, this has become a very popular one. Uh, one thing, if you, if you want to check sentiment, uh, an easy way on is, is go to iHub, go to HOT, go to the most read boards, and you can see the reads. So this tells you what, uh, what people are, are watching and looking at. You know, ENZC had 86,000 reads. So that tells you that the, the, the stock has a, a, a huge community, uh, a large social support, and uh, you know, as everyone you know is is now trading, is is learning from Wall Street bets. Uh, you know, social media is moving stocks. So uh, you know, that's uh, something that you know. This is one way you can monitor uh, what the the sentiment is, and then you can read what what people are saying. There's certainly the bull bear debate. Um, we hate the shorts, but uh, we will always listen to the shorts. Uh, the bears, uh, because it, sometimes they are right, and they nail the 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 that you know it's a scam or a fraud uh, so you know you have to always go into things with an open mind do your due diligence uh, and uh, you know it, it's it, it it can save you a lot of money and and, and headaches and grief so uh, never ever get caught up into the into the story um, that's very very dangerous for for new traders OPTI had a had a nice bounce. This has been a, a nice runner. OZSC, very very uh, huge uh, um, community, uh, a lot of support there. Um, and this is Pink Current, which is good. So uh, had a nice bounce, seventy six percent. Guys, you know when when the bounces come, it's going to happen. It's going to be most profound in your pinks, your QBs. So, uh, you know, they will bounce a lot fast. They will bounce back faster than the, the stop sign plays. Uh, let's see. So we're going to be covering some stocks this week. Uh, TSNPD uh, held the three buck area, which is good. Um, but, you know, right now there's certainly a, a great opportunity. SANP had a big bounce, 116%. Um, off the double zeros. This is one, um, again, this has got the stop sign. And, and, you know, I know a lot of people really like it because of the Cardano and, and everything, but, you know, it's got a $100 million market cap. You know, this is, this is something that, guys, I just, it's, it's a great for a trade, um, but it's really hard to hold this stuff overnight. You know, the SEC is suspending stocks. And, you know, I just don't want anyone to uh, get caught. I'm, I'm just trying to help you guys. I just don't want to see anyone lose money. Um, so, you know, don't hate on me. Uh, do what you want. I'm not a financial advisor. This is my opinion, but I just don't want to see uh, anyone get hurt. But uh, with that out of the way, guys, uh, I'm really excited. Um, Monday at the Bell, I found something that uh, is really, really exciting. Uh, this has got a, a lot of uh, potential, um, uh, fairly new play. I went and, uh, you know, as I've been telling people in my videos, there's two things you can do. Uh, number one is um, what, what I specialize here, at, you know, at Insider Financial is, is, is in these tough times, Go looking for stocks that have yet to run. 
And I found one uh, that has yet to run, really, really like it, think it has big potential. So I'll be releasing that at the bell on Monday at 930. So make sure you are signed up at signup.insiderfinancial.com with your email and then also your SMS. This way you get it faster. It'll, it'll come, uh, text messages are about seven times faster than emails. So uh, if you wanna get a jump on, on everyone else, uh, best way is with your uh, SMS uh, alerts. So uh, we offer that and it works for all mobiles worldwide. So uh, we made the change, made the switch. So uh, if you are uh, overseas, you couldn't sign up for our SMS service, but now you can. So make sure you do that. But, um, you know, keep uh, doing your homework, learn to earn. There's tremendous opportunities in these markets. It's been, uh, hu you know, Insider Financial and our subscribers have made, a, a, it's been a great few months uh the past you know two weeks have been been you know painful but you know we've been selling along the way we still have our core position uh so you know we're not giving you know we're giving back you know potential profit but we're still way ahead so uh you know again if you get in early you don't really stress this and uh you know again booking profits is is so important and then uh, as i said you know you get into these plays that you like uh, you get in low, you you sell high, you wait for these dips, and uh, you know you buy back in. So uh, you know that's the second thing you need to be doing is is looking for plays that you like, um, and uh, and and buying the taking advantage of this dip because uh, you know bear markets. This is where you build uh, your your wealth. This is where you set the foundation for real wealth. Um, so, you know, another run is coming. It was a nice recovery on Friday. Uh, I think we'll get some follow through on Monday. I am, I'm not saying that the bottom is in, but uh, Friday's action was, was certainly uh, exciting. And, uh, you know, we, we uh, certainly are, are following it, monitoring everything for our subscribers. So, again, uh, make sure you are signed up. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. Remember with COVID, stay safe, wear a mask, social distance, uh, vaccines are being rolled out, and uh, hopefully the pandemic is over by uh, the summer. So uh, that being said, again, thank you for watching, listening, subscribing, and I'll be coming uh, live to you tomorrow with a new video. We're gonna cover some uh, NASDAQ pennies, and then uh, of course on Monday is the alert. So make sure you are signed up at signup.incidentfinancial.com. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks again, folks. Bye-bye.